what happens if you're not truthful at your naturalization interview? I'm Eric Widman, I'm an immigration lawyer, and throughout the citizenship application process, you are required to be completely truthful during the whole thing. From the very beginning when you fill out form N-400 through to the oath ceremony at the end, absolute truthfulness and honesty is required. You're signing everything under penalty of perjury from the very beginning. And so on your N-400 form, if you include any false statements, any information that is not true, that is a crime. That is perjury. And so that is why USCIS specifically states that on the form. And so make certain from the outset that the information you're putting on your N-400 is accurate. If you're at all uncertain, or your memory is a little fuzzy as to what happened when, definitely do a Freedom of Information Act request, a FOIA, which is free, and request records from USCIS or CBP or the US State Department. You can get full copies of your alien file, your A file, past records of your interactions with CBP officers at the border, or past visa applications. You should assume that your USCIS adjudicating officer, the one who's interviewing you, is going to have all this information. They, of course, are running a full background check as part of the application process, and so they will know all about any past criminal history, your address history, your employment history. So there's nothing that you can or should hide from them. And many times the so-called cover-up is way worse than the prior incident because USCIS allows for a five-year statutory good moral character period. And so they're primarily focused on this five-year period leading up to your application, if you're applying on your own, for when you need to show pristine good moral character. And so you should make certain you should double check that if you had a prior incident you're concerned about that would reflect negatively on your good moral character, if it's outside that, that statutory period, you can have confidence and explain to the officer exactly what happened, if asked, explain the details of that on the form as required, and you will know that despite this, you took responsibility for it, you changed your ways, and you are able to naturalize. That's the kind of confidence you want rather than feeling like you need to hide something because hiding something won't even work. In addition, at your interview, you are asked to answer questions the government already knows the answer to. And so you might be asked things about prior criminal history or voting in a US election. And the officer asking you those questions already knows the answer because of the background check. And so what they're trying to do is get you in trouble for lying under oath. Because at your interview, you're asked to raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? You do. So your statements, if false, are going to be perjury, which is a crime. So you have to make certain that you're being entirely truthful at the interview stage too. USCIS does take into account your educational background, your mastery of English when they're asking you some of these big words. And so the USCIS policy manual says, take that into account when asking applicants questions. For example, have you committed bigamy or polygamy or espionage? So you're supposed to know what those words mean, but you can also ask USCIS to explain in other phrases or terms. Naturalizing is not a vocabulary test. You don't have to be PhD level of an English speaker, but you should know the basics and you can ask USCIS to your officer to explain that in different terms. Finally, at the oath ceremony, prior to attending the oath ceremony, you have to fill out a piece of paper that again asks you to affirm you haven't committed any new crimes, there aren't any other problems that you're turning in your green card, and so once again, you have to be truthful all the way to the end. I trust this is helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and take care.